Tuesday. It's Anahata. How are you? I'm going to just be doing um, random pick a code readings, um, distilling the essence of this amazing deck that I just got in Boulder, Colorado on my epic five week road trip that I just got back from. And here is the deck Gaia Oracle Guidebook by Tony Carmen Salerno. Highly recommend this. I'll put the link in this video. And so let's get going. There's two cards. Uh, choose either one or two. And so place your hands on your heart and maybe gaze at the ocean. One or two, which one do you need today? By the way, this is timeless. Whenever you are hearing this, it was meant for you. Okay, guys, so the first card that was chosen um, was the one that my daughter chose. And um, she has chosen for you healing, reconnecting with your true nature. Okay, so I'm going to read to you uh, about this beautiful card. So the lady featured on this card has journeyed far and wide searching for happiness, which she has failed to find. Confused and tired, she surrenders and retreats to her inner sanctuary, a space of light inside her heart where she discovers a deep sense of peace. She rediscovers and reconnects to her true nature by letting go of all that is superficial in her life. She reflects on her past and is now able to see what is true and what is false, what is real and what is illusion. In the stillness of her heart, she hears a whisper, a message of love. Her heart is grateful for her return. Over the past months, you have inadvertently steered off course, gradually losing sight of what is truly important and without realizing it, losing touch with the real you. It is time for you to reconnect and rediscover your true essence and your inner child. Stop searching externally. Look within and you will rediscover the magic. So again, this is reconnecting with your true nature. And guys, I find the best way to do this is to um, unplug. Um, so, you know, get off your devices, even though you're on the device now, but hopefully if you ask for this, it's for a reason. Um, spend time in nature, go within, um, stop um, responding and start creating is really the message of that. And um, when you begin to receive from within, you'll um, see that reflected externally as well. And that mirror will be satisfying and fulfilling and purposeful. And it will ignite passion within you. And so it's total restoration. Let's do the affirmation um, about the Anahata, which is the heart space. So here it is. You can repeat after me or just read these words. My sanctuary is a space of light inside my heart. I find peace and contentment within. My heart reveals my truth. My heart reflects the real me. My heart guides me. The, uh, sorry about that. That was for the healing card. 33. Okay, here, here it is. Awesome. So if you chose number two, you chose, drum roll please, and you can choose both, the nine of hearts. This is fulfillment, harmony, and protection. And so it's super exciting uh, for me. This was the card I chose. Uh, and so if this resonates with you, you can take what you want, activate it, leave the rest. Um, this Nine of Hearts, again, uh, we're in the Oracle Guidebook by Tony Carmen Salerno. Uh, we just did card one if you need to rewind and replay, or maybe both of these are for you. Um, but the Nine of Hearts is about fulfillment, harmony, and protection. This card signifies success, emotional fulfillment, and wisdom. 
So guys, if this is uh, resonating with you, you, you just magnetize this. This is confirmation of your imminent success. This is nine of hearts. Something that is dear to you or something that you are working towards has a positive outcome. So guys, think of this in, in reality terms. Think of this as now, not will have. That implies it's not here. It has a positive outcome. It's already so. This leads to a period of peace and harmony and a deep sense of personal satisfaction and emotional fulfillment. That which you strive to create and achieve is granted and all is protected along the way. The light shines upon you, all is blessed. You can move forward with confidence. Woo, love this one. I'm so glad that I picked it. You can see the beautiful cross, the source point on top the Merkaba shining through uh, above, that's the crown, above, um, you know, your third eye, knowing wisdom, and of course the heart, the heart is next, that's the gateway, it's springing forth above, you see a lot of the spirals, which is uh, infinite energy, and of course the tree, uh, detox, simultaneous replenishment, that's just my interpretation of the vision, um, but there you go, and there's even some water elements, earth, sky, water, ether, um, uh, the only thing it's missing is fire because the transformation is done. It is so. All right, guys. So let's do the affirmation. Read along with me if you'd like. And don't be distracted. That's the next card. This is the one that we're um, focused on. So I'll try and get, the, uh, get that out of there for you. So I am blessed. You can say this in the mirror. I am blessed. I am protected. I am grateful. I am fulfilled. I am love. Oh yeah. Tape this to your mirror. Say it in the mirror. Believe it. It is true. You are blessed. You are protected. <clears throat> you are grateful. You are fulfilled. You are love. All right, guys. That's it. A quick pick to go back to the others if you um, go back to the other one if you missed it. Love you guys so much. I hope this was helpful. Mwah.